Hi viewers, welcome to KVR Maths Academy. In this video, let's discuss 3 to 6 problems in exercise 1.2 in real numbers of 10th class mathematics. Right? Yes, before doing these problems, viewers, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Those who are not subscribed yet, thank you. Yes, let's do the problems. Yeah. See, this is the third question. Check whether 6 power n can end with digit 0 for any natural number n. Check whether 6 power n can be end with the digit 0 for any natural number n. Right? Let us check. Yeah. Solution. The given number is, given number is, yes, 6 power n. Right? 6 power n and a, 0 for any natural number n. n has given n belongs to n only. n belongs to n means natural numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Right. Yeah. Here 6 power n is equal to 6 power n means here 6 power n. 6 can be written in the product of prime numbers. How can you write? Yes. 2 into 3. Right. 2 into 3 whole power n. 2 into 3 whole power n means here whatever numbers I have, the power may take 2 power 1, 2 square, 3, 2 cube, let us like that and 3 power 1, 3 square, 3 cube. So whatever power you may take, so the units digit cannot be 0, right? See here 2 power 2 square into 3 square, how much? 2 square is 4. 4 9 is a 36. Next 2 power 1 into 3 power 1. 2 3 is a 6. 2 cube into 3 cube. That may not be last digit 0. Right. Here if the product of prime numbers are 2 and 5. 2 and 5 then the last digit may be 0. Otherwise cannot be 0. Right. So that is only right down. So 6 power n is equal to 2 power 2 into 3 whole power n. Here, the prime factors, prime factors for 6 are 2 and 3, 2 and 3, right? So, 6 power n cannot be, cannot be end with the with the digit digit 0 hey, why because here the prime factors of 6 are 2 and 3 if the prime factors prime factors are 2 and 5 2 and 5 then that number will be end with 0. Understood? So, 6 power n cannot be end with the digit 0. Therefore, finally conclusion write down. Therefore, 6 power n cannot be end with the digit 0. Have you understood clearly? Yes, note it down. This is the one mark problem in public examination. Next, fourth question. You explain why 7 into 11 into 13 plus 13 and 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 plus 5 are composite numbers. Explain why these numbers are composite numbers. So, what are composite numbers? Yes. The numbers which have more than two factors. The numbers which have more than two factors are called composite numbers. So here, smallest composite number is, is exactly 4. So all the even numbers are composite numbers other than 2. 2 is a prime number, right? Yes. Here, we have to show that these numbers are, we have to explain these numbers are why composite numbers. So, if these numbers are product of any two numbers, then these will be 
composite numbers. Let us show or explain. Yes, solution. So first one, this one take. 7 into 11 into 13 plus 13. Without any multiplication, simply do. Yes, this can be written. See here, this is one term and this is another term. Right? So in these both, 13 is the common, no? Yes. If you do uh, 13 as common, here remaining part will be 7 into 11 into 1. Here, plus 1. Isn't it? Yes. This is 13 into 7 11 are 77. 77 ones are 77. Plus 1, 78. So, this number will be product of two numbers, no? Other than one and itself. So, that's why this number is composite number. The above number can be above number can be expressed as product of as product of two numbers two numbers other than one and itself one and itself means hey, these are prime numbers right so one and itself so the above number is above number is composite number understood so in the same way let us take this also what is that 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 plus 5. So again in this both, what is the common one? Yes, 5. Yes, if you do 5 as common, this can be written. This is 7 into 6 into 5. We have written as common, no? So in the place of 5, we should write 5, 1. Next, 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Plus 1 is there. Because 5 we have written out, no? Yeah. So that is equal to 5 into 7, 6 are 42. 42, 4 are. 4, 4 are 16, 168. 168, 8, 3, 2 are 6 only, no? 6. 6, 8 are 48, 4, 6, 16 are 96 plus 400. So that is 100, 1008 plus 1. Yes, that is equal to 5 into 1008 plus 1 will be? Yes, 1009. So, this also we have expressed in the form of product of two numbers. Product of two numbers may, means this is also composite numbers. Same as it is right on here. Right? See, the above number is also can be expressed expressed as product of product of two numbers two numbers other than one and itself so the above number is also a composite number. So this is a two marks problem. If you write like this as it is, you will get full marks. Right? If you understand, please note it down. Next fifth question. How will you show that 17 into 11 into 2 plus 17 into 11 into 5 is a composite number explain how will you show that 17 into 11 into 2 plus 17 into 11 into 5 is a composite number explain yes let us do solution see given number is what is that given number is 17 into 11 into 2 plus 17 into 11 into 5. So, how can you write this? 17 into 11 into 2 plus 17 into 11 into 5. 
so in these both so this is the one number and this is the another number so in this both what is the common one 17 into 11 17 into 11 if you do as common the remaining part will be here 2 plus is there this is 5 right yeah so this is 17 into 11 into 2 plus 5 7 right so this can be written as 17 into 11 into 7 17 into 11 into 7 so this is the product of two, three numbers no so the given number is in the form of product of three numbers so the given number is divided into divided into three factors three factors that is 17 comma 11 and 7 therefore given number is composite number so here the given number has divided into three factors 17 into 11 into 7 so the given number is composite or not exactly composites so that is only i have written have you understood clearly yes note it down next sixth question this is the final question in exercise 1.2 what is the last digit of 6 power 100 what is the last digit of 6 power 100 let us find yeah look here first write on one by one 6 power 1 6 power 1 is equal to yes, 6 6 square 6 square is yes 36 next 6 cube 6 cube means 6 into 6 into 6 6 6 the 36 36 6 the 216 216 here 6 power 1 last digit is 6 6 square last digit is 6 6 cube is the last digit is 6 only a uh, 6 power 4 also let us find 6 power 4 means 6 cube into 6 only na here yeah, 6 6 is 36 right 3 is there 6 ones are 3 uh, 6 plus 3 9 6 2 is 12 1296 here last digit is it also 6 so whatever power you may take power of 6 so the last digits are all are 6 only so on up to so up to 6 power 100 so that is also last digit 6 only last digit 6 only right so here 6 power 5 also if you take so 1296 into 6 last digit only 6 only na so if you multiply with other 6 the last digit 6 only will appear right so the last digit of 6 power 100 is 6 therefore the last digit last digit of 6 power 100 is 6 have you understood note it down okay viewers if you like my video Please like and share. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thank you very much.